Well, here's a quick video and tutorial of sorts on uh, my latest Arduino interface with a uh, flight simulator for the home cockpit build. This, uh, what we've got here is the Arduino Pro Mini hooked up on a breadboard to the Nokia 5110 LCD unit. Um, these things are ultra cheap online. They were from cell phones. There was I would shudder to think how many of them are out there. There's there's lots of surplus. And uh, the Pro Mini is hooked up to the USB. Uh, I'll maybe switch this over to a different type of uh, uh, Arduino with the USB converter on board. I'm not sure, but for now, um, this thing is tiny for reference. Uh, there's a mouse in the shot. Uh, you can see it's a pretty small board. Anyway, uh, what I've got is... Uh, I'm programming this to work as my um, cabin pressure panel for the Learjet 45. So what we'll do is uh, I'll show you how it works here. I'll just plug it in and then we'll go ahead and fire up Flight Sim and uh, you'll see what I've got it programmed right now, streaming data. and. Uh, it's going to hang there because the uh, FSX is not fired up and uh, I'm not sure how quick I can get that to fire up or whether I should cut away. I'll just cut away and cut back. So uh, as soon as FSX booted up, uh, the Arduino flipped over and started displaying the, the serial data that was available. So what I have it set up to do is altitude and vertical speed here, both of which is what I'm going to use for the pressure panel, not directly, I'm going to have to work with the numbers a little bit, but between those two that uh, I, can, I can display a valid cabin pressure or something of that nature. So I'll just on the joystick here flip the throttle up and I, I just have a Cessna 172 fired up here. Uh, it's really handy to have a separate FSX rig, by the way. This is uh, in my upstairs office. And we'll try and lift off here. Got enough speed. And you'll see we have some changing values. Um, the computer has way too many things open right now, and this isn't very powerful, so that's what the, the stutters are coming from. But uh, on the main uh, Lear, I uh, won't have that problem. But uh, yeah, there we go. You can see. Uh, We've got valid climb and descent rates, and yeah, it's locking up the PC here. This I should have closed some programs, but there's the proof of concept anyway. And uh, what I'll do is I'll flip over to some screen capture software and show you how I programmed it. Well, we'll give this a try, and uh, hopefully the computer stuttering isn't going to be too bad. I don't want to reboot right now. Anyway, um, this is what I'll be building. This is what the display will be used for, is the cabin pressurization panel for the Lear 45. Notice how it's a pretty simple three-line display and uh, some uh, some functionality which I have all the logic for uh, when you turn the landing altitude, it'll automatically switch over to the landing altitude page and uh, for manual control, kind of the same idea when uh, manual is entered. So. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, we should be able to do uh, the rate and uh, the delta. We're going to have to kind of infer a number, and the cabin altitude should be pretty easy to infer from uh, actual altitude. Put some information in there. So uh, with that said, I showed this before in my previous video. This is uh, where to find the uh, Link2FS program. Uh, you want Link2FS Multi for FSX and uh, I'll relink to Jim's page in the in the description section but uh, it's really easy um, what you get is uh, this is the program itself here's my comm settings when I click connect it'll connect to the Arduino and uh, over my shoulder here it fired it up no problem what you need is you need to tell it what to send to the Arduino and that's as simple as clicking a button here. So what I'm sending is altitude, plane on ground right now, I'm not using it in the vertical speed. 
what I'm going to be doing is somewhere in this list you, there'll be avionics master and I'll send that as well and I'll have that linked to uh, to the sketch uh, so that the display doesn't show unless the avionics are on so uh, should be really easy compared to some of the other logic we have to do in interface IT anyway um, that's it uh, something I learned he even included the format that the numbers are coming out in so it'll tell you how many digits to expect um, vertical speed even tells you that it will show a negative sign and you can have up to that many digits and uh, yeah it's just that simple so uh, in about an hour last night I was able to take and make this uh, this is the sketch for the Arduino and uh, I'm just gonna pause here for a second and I'll blow this up okay um, here's a sketch I was able to whip together um, it's a uh, it's actually the first time that I've uh, I've made something sort of from the ground up without uh, an express pattern or um, well code to to borrow from the internet. So um, just some comments. This is the original uh, items from Jim's uh, example sketches. Um, FYI, in the uh, within the program that you download, there's a whole bunch of example sketches. Uh, nothing specifically for LCD that I could find, but uh, how to hook up encoders and um, um, servos, etc., etc. So, well, now we have one that tells us how to do LCD too. Uh, what I did is uh, I took my Arduino data logger sketch and just uh, copy pasted all the relevant information, so including the Adafruit libraries for the LCD. Uh, some comments about my particular board, 3 and 4 reversed on these uh, Chinese boards. And this is some code from uh, Jim's original sketch to, uh, to set some uh, integers and, and a string. These are my own added. Uh, I had to add a string for the altitude and the vertical speed so that we can uh, display them and uh, it's pretty easy in the void setup you start the serial uh, this is where I set the contrast and backlighting on the LCD this is how I made a nice little splash screen saying uh, uh, mimic just saying that it's the Lear 45 initializing works pretty good this is where we get into the void loop this is where the program happens now this is the code from Jim's example sketches mainly at this point uh, it tells you uh, it's if serial available then get the character so this is how Jim's program works it sends uh, right now it's using four first characters equals uh, less than question mark and a slash from there is what you decide what to do with it and um, if it's an equals uh, you go ahead and make programming to do something with it uh, I don't have an equals. Uh, see if I can pull the program back up. What does he use equals for? A whole bunch of them in this column here. Uh, actually this column as well. So I'm not using those. What I'm using is the less than symbol. So we'll go to that. Void less than. Get the character. Uh, case A do nothing, B do nothing. What I'm interested, what I wanted was D. So I just added the D in there and it's going to get altitude. It's going to get the characters one after another. And this was uh, simply brilliant in his code. I hadn't seen this elsewhere to uh, turn it into an integer. And from there, now that we have an integer from each character that we've received over serial, we can send it out to the LCD. So do a clear display. Uh, set the text size. I wanted it uh, on these 5110s. When you set it to 2, it will uh, be a 3 line display if you run them all at size 2. It's a pretty big font. I wish we could do half steps. If anyone knows how to do half steps or other than those even values for text, let me know in the comments. Um, I just commented out a bunch of these. These were from uh, my uh, data logger. So got rid of those. So now that we have altitude, we want uh, vertical speed. So we want to display 
we get the L, we get the characters for the vertical speed, we calculate the vertical speed into the integer VS1, and then we just display the VS1. It's just that simple. Uh, then at the bottom, this is where I set the text size down and just put a little legend at the bottom. Uh, this, this is all going to be changed for the pressure panel, but uh, you get the idea on how it was done. And uh, again, here's where he pulls it from the question mark, so we can set up all kinds of code to do what we want with all those uh, data points he's made available. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, basically, I just took his example and found a way to make it work for the LCD and how to display print line and display, display print. It's uh, pretty easy once you have the values. So now I'll take and manipulate those integers into a different value with some code and I'll be able to set the limit on the cabin altitude so when we're at 30,000 feet it doesn't display 30,000. It displays, uh, actually don't know what the pressure system maxes out at on these. I think it's wild guess around 8,000. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's uh, that's where we sit, and that's how it's working for now. Uh, any questions, comments, post them down in the comment box. I hope this helps someone. I was uh, pretty excited when I made this work in such a short time that uh, these Arduinos are uh, are fantastic. It's going to make flight sim work a lot easier, and. Uh, well, quite simply, allow me to make a panel easily in-house that has full functionality that was never available before. I don't think anyone in the world has messed with this one yet. But, uh, yeah. thanks for watching.